ओके रेनफोर्स कॉन्क्रीट सर्कुलर शेप क्वेश्चनल एरिया कैरी सिक्स रेनफोर्समेंट बार्स फुल्स टोटल एरिया इज 500 एमएम स्क्वायर फर्स्ट ऑफ फाइंड द सेफ लोड द कॉलम कैन कैरी इफ द कॉन्क्रीट इज नॉट टू बी स्ट्रेच मोर देन 3.5 एमपी फर्स्ट ऑफ टेक मॉडुलर रेशियो फॉर स्टील एंड कॉन्क्रीट एज 18 यस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन द गिवन डाटा टोटल एरिया ऑफ कॉलम इट इज गिवन एरिया ऑफ कॉलम इज इक्वल टू ए इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एम एम स्क्वेर ओके एम एम स्क्वेर एम एम स्क्वेर सो सेकेंड वट इज एरिया ऑफ स्टील इट इज गिवन एरिया ऑफ स्टील एरिया ऑफ स्टील एरिया ऑफ स्टील दैट इज ए एस इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ स्टील ए एस इज इक्वल टू इट इज गिवन फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम स्क्वेर फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम स्क्वेर देन कैलकुलेट द सेफ लोड एंड द मॉडल ऑफ प्रेस इन द कॉन्क्रीट दैट इज सिग्मा सी इज इक्वल टू इट इज गिवन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एम पी एट इज मीन न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर एंड देन मॉडल ऑफ रेशियो इट विल बी एम इज इक्वल टू ऑल्सो इट इज विल बी गिवन एम इज इक्वल टू एटीन एम इज इक्वल टू एटीन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल This total strain will be developed. It will be same. It will be sigma s is equal to. You can say strain E s. Strain in steel is equal to sorry. Strain in concrete is equal to strain in steel. Okay. Due to composite, it will be same. So strain means what? Sigma s by strain means it will be sigma s by sigma s by E s. Minus by E S. Minus by E S is equal to is equal to sigma C by sigma C by E S. Sigma C by E S. Sigma C by E S. Okay. So sigma S it will be. We need to find out sigma S. Sigma S is equal to. I can write down sigma S is equal to. E S by E C. E S by E C means it is E S by E C. It will be called it is modular ratio. E S by E C. We call it will be modular ratio. E S by E C into sigma C. Sigma C. Sigma C. So sigma C value it will be given three point five. It will be get from this it will be get. Well, I will write down here. Sigma S is equal to Sigma S is equal to sigma C. It will be eighteen, and sigma C it will be three point five. So it will be get sigma S from this relation. So eighteen into three point five, eighteen into three point five. It will be sixty three mp. Sixty three mp. Sigma S is equal to sixty three mp. Okay. So total load it will be P is equal to P is equal to P S E C area of concrete plus area of steel. Area, okay. So P is equal to you can write P C is equal to sigma sigma C into A C plus P S it will be sigma C sigma C into sorry sigma S into sigma S into A S area of area of Sigma C is area stress in concrete. A C is area of concrete, and sigma S it will be area of steel, and A C is area of concrete. Okay, so total area it is given, and area of steel it will be given. So total area is equal to this one, area of concrete plus area of steel, area of concrete plus area of steel. Total total area it is fifty thousand. Total area it will be how much? Fifty thousand. Okay, so this made it. Fifty thousand is equal to area of concrete. We need to calculate then area of steel. It will be given five hundred mm square. So from this relation, it will get area of concrete. Area of concrete. Okay. So fifty thousand minus five hundred. It will be forty nine thousand five hundred. Forty nine hundred. 
49,500 mm square. This one it is area of concrete. Area of concrete. Okay. So put all these values here. So PS is equal to P is equal to sorry. P is equal to sigma C. It will be known. Sigma C. Put all these value here. This one it is equation number one. Put all these value in equation number one. So P is equal to so sigma c it will be 3.5 sigma c it will be 3.5 into ac it will be 49500 49500 then plus sigma s it will be sigma s it will be 63 sigma s it will be 63 into area of concrete it will be but area of steel it will be 500 mm. Area of steel it will be 500. It will give safe load of this concrete. So P is equal to P is equal to so 3.5 into 49,500. Then plus 63 into 500. So it will be 204.75. 204.75. Into 10 raised to the power 3 in Newton. Convert it is in kilonewton. So P is equal to 204.75 kilonewton. Kilo okay. So this one it is safe load. So safe load is 204.75 kilonewton.